If you've been having performance issues with Hogwarts Legacy from stuttering to lag, then this video is for you. Before we jump into it though, if you like Hogwarts Legacy or gaming content, make sure you subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up at the end if it was helpful. So one of the first things that you can do, and this is something that some people are claiming still works and some people are saying isn't as necessary anymore depending on some other changes you make in the game. But we'll go ahead and talk about it now. So what you're going to want to do is head down and click your start menu and start typing exploit protection. That will open a window with which you will select program settings and then add a new one from there you will want to navigate to the hogwarts legacy application so you're going to go to your steam folder steam apps common hogwarts legacy and then of course select that once you've selected it click open you'll go in you will then scroll down the list until you find control flow guard so on my screen here you can see that it's already checked to override yours will not be so you'll want to select that once you do that you will turn that setting off you want to make sure it is off and that you have overridden the previous setting right then you'll want to close that all out I think you need to restart your PC and then bring it back up from there we're going to go into your game settings so windowed mode full screen is what you're going to want to be on and then as you go down the first thing and this is one of the ones that people said if you do this you might not have to do the previous one which is adjusting your upscale type some people were pushing very early on that you needed to have either your Nvidia DLSS or your AMD FSR 2.0 you needed to do that that was going to help dramatically but now people are actually saying that you can turn that off completely no upscale to set it to none and that solves the problem so what I urge you to do is try either one if you've been with none on try turning on Nvidia DLSS if you're on an Nvidia card and the AMD FSR 2.0 if you're not and see which one works best for you this is going to take a little bit of finagling to try to figure out what's going to be the best because everybody's systems are different so again try it with it off you might not have to do the last part or try it with it on if you haven't already with that being said people have also suggested different things like doing dlss quality versus one of the other settings like balanced or something like that you might have to mess with those a little bit as well scrolling down a little bit you can see that i have nvidia reflex low latency on you can have it on with boost if you think that maybe your cpu isn't keeping up and so on and so forth with your graphics card but i think on is fine for most people and if you have a really low end system maybe you turn it off if your graphics card is behind or something like that but v sync this is one where people are like is there really any benefit of having it off in a game like this you're not really too worried about any sort of input lag that it might cause whatever that might be I went ahead and went with it off I have a G-Sync 240 Hertz monitor if I'm really worried about those sorts of things but speaking of 240 Hertz you can see down below I have 75 frames the reason I did this is because this isn't a game where you're really that worried about it and if lowering it means that there's less of your graphics card trying to push higher numbers and getting stalled out and causing different FPS drops and lag and stuttering just lower it down I found that I could get all the way down to 75 as my max without really noticing that it got that much less smooth yes it is a little less smooth from 144 to 75 but not nearly as much as you might think it is so if you're having major stuttering issues just try lowering your max frame rate maybe put it to 75 maybe put it to 60 if you have a 60 hertz monitor there's no reason not to just go ahead and put it there and see if that helps give a little bit more headroom to your graphics card so as I said before when it comes to just finagling with things and figuring out what's going to work best for you that's what this whole page is going to be where you have your effects quality material quality flaw quality all of that stuff you're gonna have to mess around with these things now there are a few that I think are solid to change which is going to be fog and sky quality because there's not fog everywhere and it's not like this huge thing that really adds to the game I think you're still going to get good visuals even if you turn it down a bit could be medium could be low sky quality you probably don't look up at the sky all that often and so you could probably lower that down just to give your computer back some resources the big things that are to make the game look really pretty is going to be your material it's going to be your texture and maybe some of your effects quality right um you can lower your population quality and your view distance if you like because those are things that they're nice if you have them all the way up but it's not going to do that much for you in terms of your experience in the game so if you lower them down again it gives you a little bit more headroom but you will want to mess around with these things you can take the settings I have right here but I want to warn you that I have a 3080 and a 5900x so I might be able to run things a little bit better I will caveat that by saying these settings are allowing me to also stream the game at the same time pretty smoothly so if I wasn't also streaming to Twitch then I could probably end up turning these up so just take that in mind 
you have to figure out what works best for the graphics card the cpu and the ram that you have and the last little bit i'm gonna say is check your task manager make sure you're not running a whole bunch of things in the background you got videos playing things downloading all these different applications open open up your task manager it's really easy right click the start button if you're on windows 11 task manager go in look through your things if you're more computer illiterate then you might want to stick to the main page. But if you have some knowledge, you can go over to details and go ahead and look through that list and see if there are a bunch of things taking up resources that you don't need to have running and close them down. I will say though, disclaimer, if you don't know what you're looking at, don't mess with anything. Hopefully these things will help your Hogwarts legacy run just that much better. If you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel and giving this video a thumbs up. You can also come chat with me live at twitch.tv slash heartbreaker underscore TV, where I stream whenever I really get the moments too. So go ahead and throw a follow over there if you want to support this channel here on youtube in the best and most direct way you can click the join button down below to become a member of the channel and of course until next time good luck in your adventures